expect that. <laughs> no. Has he recorded himself with stick? <laughs> Today's much welcome to Hood Stick. I'm here with James in his Peugeot 205 GTI. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Um, I can't believe that I'm actually in this. My first time being in a Peugeot 205. Are they even? Do they even exist today? Not many about now. I'd wouldn't have thought. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not a lot. Definitely. So um, this car is immaculate. Just, just tell me why you got this car and why you built, built it. Well, it's my first car, and then I had a little bit of a ding. Okay. So we went to uh, do a bit of body work, and then. It just one thing led to another, and it went to a full respray and uh, engine yeah. swap and everything. Jeez. So um, in terms of that, I mean, I don't know much about the history, but I do know that they created the the 1.9 that produced 130 brake horsepower, yeah. and then the 1.6. I seen the badge said 1.6. Yeah, this has got the uh, 1.9 out of the 405 MI16. Wow. Which was apparently about 150 brake standard. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, I wonder how much did they weigh, like standard? 890, 900 keys, something like that. Wow. To the power, so you said that they're standard 150 brake horsepower. Yeah. But this is doing 220 brake horsepower. Yeah. Just talk us through how you got that. Yeah, it's um, got five to eight cat cams. Okay. With vernier pulleys, uh, twin 45 Omex throttle bodies, mm -hmm. with Omex 600 ignition, full exhaust system, Omex all the way through as well. So what made you... Did you tweak it up only one goal? Did you rebuild it at one goal? Um, I was running some Piper cams on it at one point. Yeah. And then just not happy with the performance. Brake was alright, but it just wasn't pulling right. So looked into it and these were as crazy as you can go. Craziest yeah. cams you can go without going crazy on all the internals. Okay. Without, without going bottom end as well. The bottom end can take up to eight grand. Eight grand? Yeah. Whoa. See, you've built this car yourself um, yeah. in terms of the engine and stuff. Um, did, did the engine require any sort of tuning? Did, did you tune it yourself or um, just bolt it on? BTEC racing, just bolted everything on and then yeah, they were, had it on their rolling mode for quite a few hours. Interesting. How was the torque on, on, on this car I now? I think it was 170. That's crazy. 183 man. brake at the wheels. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and I'm sure we're about 890 kilos. 890? <laughs> yeah, round about that. And that's with the, you took all this yeah. up and everything? Yeah, everything out of cage in. That's crazy. The cage will put a bit of weight back in, but yeah, obviously stiffens yeah, yeah. it up a treat. So um, in terms of um, handling, what, what are you running? It's got a Bill Stein Group N Tarmac rally kit all round, okay. E-Bash suspension. Possibly uh, one of the best setups you can get for it, really, with uh, being a bit um, bit more gentle for the road as well. My, yeah, yeah, I yeah, had yeah, it on um, Coney before and just over speed humps. This this is nice, it goes over an easy, yeah, yeah, yeah. the quicker speed is real nice and solid. But you yeah. felt the car, it doesn't move. but. Yeah. Speed ups, it takes them well. The other setup was just horrific. Just had all the bushes uprated, poly bushes all around. But yeah, apart from that, these are renowned for suspension anyway on the standard setup. No way. I'm shocked of how you've been. Even them. Even, um, yeah, see, my guy like... done. And, yeah, he said, What are you going to do? And he said, and I said, Well, I was going to buy some carbon ones. He said, Do you want me to make you some? I said, Go for it. I turned up and they were done. Wow, Didn't even see them until we picked the car up. So. Oh my god, these bucket seats. Yeah. Man, this is so good. Well, yeah, I went for the. Um, when I go Sparco's first, couldn't really yeah, fit in them because of these bits here. Yeah. These bits, sit, they sit so straight, so these are a lot wider, so yeah, I have to go and try a few out, <laughs> getting this one. That's nice, I like that it's proper nice and nimble, and it's just the way you did it, it's just so mint, but it's proper bare shadow. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's, uh, oh, it's noisy. I like the gear yeah, now, yeah, though. Yeah. <laughs> when you went for the Nardi Grey, which is like... Yeah, there's a last minute change, it was, it was already to go standard colour, and yeah, yeah, I yeah. just got on the phone, I was like, no, nah, let's change it. <laughs> the rims are looking like the bang on. What, yeah, what, what hydro dips. Yeah. yeah, just hydro dips, uh, insanity skull pattern, I think it's called. It was just one of them, we were yeah, chewing yeah, it, and yeah. I was like, well, I don't want the same as everyone else, so here we go, bang. No, no. Alright then, enough of the talking, should we take it on the road then, yeah? Let's do it, boss. Alright, James, let's do this. Let's do this, match. Let's do this. Let's get you, uh, <laughs> okay. let's get tricked you. in. <laughs> I hope uh, I'll come back in one piece. <laughs> Two 
five and 160. Yeah! <laughs> Bring the classics back! 1988. <laughs> Still whipping. I like the dashboard, man. Funny flops. Yeah, yeah, man, that's, that's sweet. Well, with that yourself, you just come up with that yourself, or you just. Yeah, it's just a rally thing, and uh, there's a company I know of, so yeah, bingo, straight around there. There <laughs> we go. You're a proper perfectionist when it comes to uh, building a car, isn't yeah? And this is your yeah. first car, obviously, your first project car, you said. Yeah, but yeah first car I ever brought. Just imagine what project. your future cars are going to be. <laughs> that sounds pretty nice. Nice to be quiet. Let's get the throttle body straight through the firewall. You've got the, no yeah, sound yeah, deadening. Yeah, yeah. Did you know it was going to sound like this? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a proper track car, this yeah. is. No luxuries. <laughs> this is not luxury at all. But this, this is the sort of car that takes you to the edge. Is this guy ABS? No. No, <laughs> no traction. <laughs>
think of the delivery compared to like you with the turbo? Totally different? Or totally just, different, man. Was the turbo like, kicking in earlier, later? Yeah, the, 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 early. the boost that kicks in pretty late. <laughs> the speculating turbo cars, there'll always be a lag in turbo cars regardless. But with this, you don't feel it as much. But when you look at the mass power, you're thinking, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> uh, how fast is this going to go? Alright, let's see how it feels like for, for a person that's never had experience in this. I'm Very, very uh, tough clutch, though. Oh, man. Thank you very much for that experience, man. Wicked. Well, oh man, I'm 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 beyond for words, man. Like, I literally don't know. Six thousand RPM and it just yeah, it's don't let up. Yeah, it I was, I was looking, goes. thinking like, what the hell? When, yeah. when do I change? And then we looked at much per hour. I'm on like second gear. And it's already gone to like almost like 40, 50 miles per hour, and it's like yeah, if you're in second, you're just under seventy, I think. Yeah, oh, if, you, if you hit it. You yeah, know. yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, there's more, yeah. um, more to give, and this. I didn't expect this car to um, do what it did, man. I'm just, I'm just shocked. I'm just, I'm just lost for words. Literally, I just didn't expect a car like this to be doing what it did. Oh man, you got a hell of a car, man. This car. And look, I feel that Abbas not even used a touch of fuel either. What? No really? way! Uh, it's pretty good on fuel. It's amazing. No way! What have you? I've uh, driven you... from Oxford to Banbury. And it's still like thirty odd miles. Tank. We've been whacking it. Yeah. What? So what's the, have you have you found out what he does for miles per gallon? I haven't. No, I need to work that out. But I think it's pretty good. No way. <laughs> Such a good car. <laughs> I love this car. Well, these, these standard in the day. These yeah. were the ones.
crazy bit of tuna. <laughs> is um, again this car is beyond imagination like this car will be unbelievable on track this yeah it's gonna go but, uh, yeah man you've got a hell of a car man As, again thank you very much james um Wicked. for even letting me drive this car no problem is there anything that you want to tell people a shout out or anybody um tell people your instagram just james steven on instagram you see the picture of the car that's okay. it okay people add him up man like this car is going places and if you ever see him on a track <laughs> you know it's him <laughs> Thank you for watching the video, um, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button and share this video out man, all of you Perto owners. You subscribe know, to the hood stick. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, old school is cool. Take care James. Take care bro.